How's it going ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Donnie here again. This time we're gonna take a look at phase diagram practice problems, all right? So number one, uh, which correctly describes the critical temperature on a phase diagram? So if you remember looking back at the uh, phase diagram here, this is the critical point. The critical temperature is right there, right? So at the critical temperature, you can still compress a gas into the liquid phase at any higher temperatures, you won't be able to. You cannot compress it into a liquid phase. So if we're taking a look at our options, uh, let's see, the temperature above which a gas cannot be liquefied? Yeah, I feel like I just said that. Let's check the rest of them though. The temperature at which all three states are in equilibrium? No, that's the triple point. What this option is describing is the triple point. The temperature below which a gas cannot be liquefied? No, it's not below that temperature. Uh, the temperature required to melt a solid? Nope. The temperature required to cause sublimation? Nope. All right, number two. When the slope of a solid liquid phase boundary in a phase diagram has a negative slope, which means it leans left. So I have this, and I got this kind of line going on, but then this right here, the solid liquid equilibrium leans left. The substance what? Well, let's see. Cannot be liquefied above its triple point? That's, that's not true. I'm at my triple point, I can increase the pressure and it will turn into a liquid. Uh, let's see, melts rather than sublimes under ordinary conditions. That's got nothing to do with it. Can I go from a solid to a liquid by application of pressure at any temperature? Um, that's, that's not true. If I was right here and I increased my pressure, I would become a liquid. So that's not true. Can go from solid to liquid within a small temperature range via the application of pressure. Yes, I just, just demonstrated that right there. Sublimes rather than melts? No, nothing to do with that. All right, number three. Which line segments on the phase diagram above represents conditions of temperature and pressure where the solid and the gas are in equilibrium? So here I have my phase diagram. Let's just label the phases real quick. I got solids over here, liquids right here, and gases there. That's something that you should be able to do. So number three is saying, hey, which line segment represents the temperature and pressures where solid and gas are in equilibrium? Well, let's see, solid and gas are equilibrium along this line. So it's gonna be line AB. From A to B, that's a solid gas equilibrium. Four, which point on the phase diagram corresponds to the critical temperature and pressure? That is gonna be point D, as in David, all right? So this right here, you follow that line down, that's your critical temperature. You follow it over, that's your critical pressure. All right, five, which point on the phase diagram corresponds to the triple point? That is B, it's where those three lines come into play. So hopefully if you knew nothing about phase diagrams, you could still be like, hey, triple point, let me find somewhere where there's three going on, and you find it right at point B. All right, six, what phases are present at each of the regions? All right, so again, A is where you would find the solid phase. B is where you would find the liquid phase, and C is where you find the gaseous phase. Now, if I had to think through this, I could go, hey, all right, what about at low temperatures? If I'm way over here, what phase do I expect to find? You expect to find solids, all right? If I'm at really high temperatures, and low pressures, I would expect to find gas. So you could maybe still think through this. All right, seven, which, I'm sorry, could you convert a solid substance represented by the phase diagram into a liquid by decreasing the pressure? So let's see, we're starting in the solid, so we're in this region and we're decreasing the pressure. Short answer is gonna be no, you can't, because it's left leaning. If you take a look at the slope of this line, it leans to the left, which means if I'm in the solid phase and I decrease my pressure, I'm gonna still end up in the solid phase. If I keep going, I could end up in the gaseous phase, but it's talking about to a liquid. If the line instead was a positive slope, then I could. Hey, if I was a solid over here and I decreased the pressure, it would become a liquid, but it's not like that. All right, so yeah, I hope you found it helpful. See you in class, okay, bye.